I'm at the market with Courtney Kelly and Kate Osborne from Kelborn Woolens. And welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And we're going to talk about Fair Isle in Knit and Pearl. Yes. And shall we start by showing everybody the sweater? Yeah, this is a sweater and hat that I designed um, utilizing knitting and purling within the Fair Isle pattern mm -hmm. um, to create a sort of little bit of texture. Um, it also changes your color a little bit. It can either make softer. things pop a little bit more or it can make things a little softer depending okay. on where you place the pearls. Um, so I've brought a swatch with me mm -hmm. and I have one section that I've already done to sort of show you what happens. The three center stitches of this V motif are purled and one of them is a little contrasty um, color pop that's working these two colors here. So what I'm going to do... You have two colors to I have with. two colors that I'm working with. Okay. Um, here and here. And what I'm going to do is on the center three stitches of my motif, I'm going to purl these three. One in the natural, one in the citrine, and then again in the natural. Okay. So we're going to be moving back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to knit my first stitch uh -huh. in the citrine. Uh -huh. The next stitch is also knit. This stitch I'm going to purl with the natural. So I bring my yarn forward, I'm going to work my purl, and then I'm going to move the yarn to the back again. Okay. Then I want to purl using the contrast color. I'm going to bring that forward, purl this stitch, uh -huh. and you'll notice what happens is that your purl isn't actually going to be this color. It's not? The purl is created um, from the stitch from the row below. Okay. So the so pearl bump is actually going to be I mean, in this color. Okay, and that's important to know. It is, because it okay. affects the overall look of your design. Right. And your pattern. And the pattern. So yes. here you can see the pearl bump that's created here cuts this almost in half, which right. subdues it a little bit. Okay. This is a very bright yellow, and so mm -hmm. it kind of tones it, it down a little bit and blends it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pearl one more with my natural. Okay. And that bump will be and natural. And that bump will be natural because okay. the stitch from the row below also was That's natural. Was okay. natural. Okay. So then in this section, I purled using just the natural, uh -huh. but I purled three stitches that were my contrast colors from the row below. Okay. So those three bumps, as you can see, really pop. From the row below. From the row below. They pop uh -huh. those bright colors uh -huh. up. Mm -hmm. And that's really forming your V, am I correct? It is, it okay. is. So that's kind of, that's, that's how it works. Really interesting. <laughs> it's a nice design element. It adds a little bit uh -huh. of texture in here where this is very subtle and muted. You get a little bit of shadow created underneath, mm -hmm. which is nice. And again, you get this sort of nice texture. Now, and pop. you did this, would, would I be correct in saying this was a worsted weight? This is a worsted weight. And the pattern here with the hat is done in a sport weight. Um, it's a uh, baby alpaca, camel, cashmere, and silk. Oh, that's why it's so soft. It, yes. it has a really lovely hand. Yes. And one of the reasons that I chose it for this Bohus inspired design is that the alpaca and the cashmere together create a nice haze and a little bit of a halo, the same way the traditional Bohus yarns with the Angora content did. Okay. So in an updated, sort of modern luxury uh -huh. fiber, it's really nice it's to wear. Nice. Okay, now we're going to switch gears. Yes. Because, Kate, you have another technique you'd like to talk about. Yeah, one of the things when choosing yarn for Fair Isle, you want to think about the overall look and aesthetic you want for the garment. Okay. So when this sweater was designed, it was designed with a lot of vintage inspiration. Mm -hmm. So there are muted colors, all sort of the same tone, and they all have contrast with one another. But when utilizing the technique that Courtney talked about, they blend and mute each other out in different okay. ways and pop in different ways. And you did ways. something wonderful on the back of that sweater. Yes. So in creating the yoke of the sweater, That's you want to yeah. use a short row fair aisle before starting your fair aisle technique. And then that lifts the back neck of the sweater up and it creates a really beautiful neckline. It's also seen on the mannequin here uh -huh. where you can see it creates well, a really nice great. I can't thank you enough for coming thank and you. showing us how these techniques for knit and purl. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit our website for free access to all the patterns, project ideas, tips and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily.
Log on and get printer-friendly patterns and more at KnittingDailyTV.com. This is show 403.